Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm a life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike create the relationship that they so want, need, and deserve by giving them simple tips and tools and strategies to implement into their life so they can create that happy romantic relationship. So now y'all, we have a juicy topic today. Um, we're going to talk about MIGTO and that is actually an acronym standing for men going their own way. All right. Yes, you heard me. Men going their own way. And and I have to say, before we even get into the juiciness, I was introduced to this group of men by my most popular YouTube video where I'm talking about the places to find um, to find good men, good quality men. And I, unfortunately, I was introduced to this group of men in a negative light. Uh, so I had at least two to three men get on my channel from this particular group. They're using hashtag MGTOW, which is men going their own way. They're just using the, you know, the, the letters for it, right? And um, I was reading what they were saying and all of this stuff was just basically cruel and threatening me and telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. And they just go on ham on me on my most popular video. I have, I had at least, like I said, two or three of them come to me going ham, talking about, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm ugly. I'm overweight. Uh, <laughs> what else was they saying? Um, you know, just, just a lot of stuff, a lot of, a lot of negative mean stuff. And then, uh, one day I ain't had nothing to do. So I was going back and forth with one of them one day and, uh, <laughs> I just ain't had nothing to do. So I was like, I got your time today, so let, let me give you what you want. And we was going back and forth, and, and long story short, I ended up shutting him down because he was saying how he's not going to give me the dick that I asked for. You don't even have your picture up. I don't even know what you look like, so I'm not looking for your dick. And then I told him that I'm looking for my husband's dick anyway. And uh, <laughs> and I, I was cracking up the whole time that I responded to him because I'm like, this is this is way ridiculous. But as I dug deep into this topic, into this very um, culture of straight men that are going their own way, meaning that they're getting rid of the women, I found that uh, I'm jumping ahead, but I want to say this. I found that a lot of the men that are jumping into this, I don't want to say jumping in, but maybe it's just a trend. Or maybe they really are swearing off women just completely. And what I what I'm what I'm getting at is a lot of the men were hurt by women. So it made to wrap all of that around, it made a hundred and a thousand percent uh uh um it made sense that they were going ham on me because they just mad at women. It just don't it don't matter your ethnicity, it don't matter nothing about you. If you don't have a hanging appendage, which is what I refer to as the male. The male hanging, right? So if you don't have a hanging appendage, then they mad at you, okay? Now, you know what? We're going to come back and talk about it right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So again, we're talking about MIGTO, and that is just the pronunciation of the acronym Men Going Their Own Way. And I found um, they actually have a website, MGTOW.com. So I went to their website because I need to see what y'all talking about, what this is all about, what this acronym is all about. So I'm just going to read it to you. MGTOW, which stands for Men Going Their Own Way, is a statement of self-ownership where the modern man preserves and protects his own sovereignty above all else. It is the manifestation of one word, no, ejecting silly preconceptions and cultural definitions of what a man is, looking to no one else for social clues, refusing to bow, serve, and kneel for the opportunity to be treated like a disposable utility, and living according to his own best interest in a world which would rather he didn't. In other words, dot, 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 <laughs> common sense for men. All right, so that's their definition of it. I got it from their actual website. And then I found another definition of it. This one, I have to say, is a bit more raunchy, but I'm going to read it the way that it has it. So just if you don't want to hear any curse words, then you 
fast forward this part um, because they have some in there. So now this is from the Urban Dictionary. So from UrbanDictionary.com, MGTOW, again, men going their own way, is males that choose to control their life on how they see fit and don't take bullshit from women or the corrupt society since both are filled with evil pricks like feminists. This this definition, they mad. Men who also don't give women money because they know that those bees, I'm not going to say that word, will abuse them for the cheddar in their wallet. Men who also realize that marriage is a contract that favors women during divorce courts and children's custody. Men that men that have knowledge of the toxicness of the female nature. And then they have like a little... Um, dialogue it's only two sentences so they send the guy the guy is saying this you should get a girlfriend and then the mgtow guy is saying to the other guy fuck that shit i ain't gonna let a b take all my shit just to get a little p u s s last letter <laughs> so i'm like okay this this one was they mad on this one um but as i was digging deeper into the community of course every community has some uh, extremists in it and this community is no different and so when I dug a lot deeper into it I came across this article um, and it's by was the news channel on here I don't see the news channels name I wanted to pay homage to it because they really broke it down now if you are a part of the MGTOW MGTOW community and I am saying something wrong I am all about education however don't be coming for me because if you come for me, you will get blocked. I, I, I don't have time to play your games, okay? Now, um, also, I want to say that the only reason why I did this video is because one of my subscribers is a part of this community, but he has never been rude or disrespectful towards me. And he is an actual... Um, he comes back all the time. What's the word I'm looking for? He he is a repeat client. Okay, that's the way I'm going to say it. So, Mr. Atlanta Light, thank you for um, just being respectful because I know that everybody that's in any community, it... it, it Everybody's not the same, right? So there is a stereotype. But I will say I'm only doing this because you asked me multiple times. You even reminded me to do the video. I told you I was not going to forget. I just needed to do some more research about it because I knew this little. And then when I got introduced to it, it was nice. Okay? So <laughs> with that being said, um, the one main article that I'm going to take most of the stuff from, I'm not going to lie, is the news article. And I just can't pay homage to the news station because... It just says news.com. So so maybe that is it, news.com. Anywho, <laughs> so uh, I want you guys to understand that there is, you, basically you cannot just say that you are part of this community. You can't just go around and say that you are a MGTO, right? And that's the way that the um, acronym is pronounced. I actually did look that up. Um, but obviously if I'm saying it wrong, let a sister know. I will correct it. Okay. Anywho, so um, there are four levels to the MGTO. All right. So level zero is situational awareness. And this is a member that has taken the red pill. Oh, I forgot to mention that they make um, references to the matrix all the time. So the red, if pill, I see it, I was, I was, I'm, I'm taking too much time trying to find this. So if I do remember where I, I found this from, I know that they're talking about the, the, um, the movie, the matrix, and they're making reference to the matrix on the blue pill and the red pill. And I think if you take the red pill, you wake up. I haven't seen the matrix in so long. So again, you can correct me. I'm good on being corrected. I'm good with that. But let me go back so we'll understand. So they're talking about the blue pill and the red pill. Okay, I'm going to start over. Level zero, situational awareness. The member has taken the red pill and embraces the idea that gender equality is a lie and propaganda. Level one, rejection of long-term relationships. So this man rejects long-term relationships but will still partake in short-term relationships and sexual sexual encounters level two <laughs> they reject um short-term relationships this member will won't participate in hookups or any form of short-term or sexual relationships so we get deep into they are cutting off sex i actually did see where some of them are actually um saying that they're going back to be, being in a state of virginity. So I, I just thought that that was very interesting because 
you, you really can't do that. Anyway, um, <laughs> level three, uh, let's go with economic disengagement, which is a member at this stage refuses to earn more money than is necessary for sustaining life. He views the government as um, tyrannical. I got yeah, yeah, that's right. Tyrannical and is trying to actively drain money from the bureaucrats. And then level level four is uh, societal disengagement. This is as far as a mainstream MGTOW can go. He um, here, the man refuses to interact with society altogether. Uh, I even read that this particular one will even cut off the family. Like he don't want to be a part of nobody, not just females, just period, just nobody i'm good i'm good on everybody so um few members will ever reach level four which is the disengagement for every single person and the majority seem to float between somewhere between the second and third level which is um uh, the rejection of the short-term relationships and the economic disengagement where they only work to basically just sustain their life no less no more and then um, but even if they don't go full out most members will see themselves cut off from most unneeded contact with women and in extreme cases even uh alienate themselves from friendly family and friends sorry all, all all of this i'm trying to take all of this in this was just very interesting to me more than anything this is just very interesting to me that um this has become a part of our society and this is a group of men that is actually growing from what i understand and what for what i researched they they, they can't tell where it actually started from um, they think it started from two guys online, uh, I think somewhere in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, but they're uncertain of how it actually started, but then it started to really catch on and more and more men are joining this group. And, uh, again, a lot of them, not all, but a lot of them that are in this group actually got hurt before by a woman. And you heard me read the definitions with one of them, which is what I read as well, meaning, um, or going toward a lot of men that are joining this particular group and just cutting off women altogether have been hurt. So a lot of them have had, um, custody battle issues, or when they got a divorce, they basically got raped by the woman. And I hate to put it that way, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Like she, she took him through the ringer and she took just about everything that he had, that he strived to achieve. And the woman that he chose, because you, you got to take your own responsibility, bruh. The woman that you chose took you when it was time to divorce. And I hate to even say that, but we know, we know Sometimes our choices put us in situations where we looking like F all of that species. In this case, well, not species, but F all of them. In this case, F all the women. All the women are evil. All the women are bad. All the women are going to take the children away from you. All the women is going to take everything that you got. And that's just not true. Bruh, this group... Again, I'm not a, I'm not even bashing the group. What I'm doing is just giving out the information and you guys can let me know what you think about it because I really, like I said, I just got introduced to this group about a few months ago and I'm only doing this video once again because I have at least one subscriber in this particular group. But um, he even said something where uh, we were talking about, what's the video that I did not too long ago, which is how this even came up. Actually, I'm going to look it up because I want to even read to you what he said because... It wasn't even bad. Oh, I was talking about relationship contracts. That's what I was talking about. That's the video I was talking about where he actually asked me to do this particular video. And uh, I'm scrolling through right now. I'm trying to hurry up, but I got a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of comments. So, um, okay. For, so, so I'm back. And then I know it's a short period for y'all because I edited that out. But he said that this is a smaller part of... A larger conversation which is prenuptial agreements most women are not in favor of a prenuptial agreement and then he put hashtag mikto so i'm like i think it depends on what the prenuptial is saying and she will you know if she will or will not sign off on it most people hear this and they think about money and them not getting a dime if things go awry what were your thoughts when you mentioned the prenup how would it benefit the woman if ish hit the fan in the relationship his response since you asked like clearing his throat <clears> throat> 
I would be all for a paper marriage. Literally everything you had before the marriage from house, car, money, debt, etc. remains yours if we marry and in marriage. In divorce, if we split up, everything is 50-50 to include any joint venture debt. No alimony, no BS upon divorce. I say it laugh out loud. This doesn't sound too bad. I don't see most people disagreeing unless you have a ton of money and don't want to share. And I put up like laughy faces on their emojis. Uh, his response in a long-term boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. I'm in favor of life insurance policies, power of attorney, and medical issues if I or she is somehow incapacitated. Again, don't see nothing wrong with this to be put into a prenup. I was waiting on something crazy, something I'd be like, hell no. Ha ha ha. And then he said, can you pretty please do a video on this? And I told him, give me a little time to do the research. So with that being said, I still don't think that there was anything all that bad, even in that conversation, even what he wanted to put in the prenup. I don't see necessarily anything bad. Uh, it's just some people assign it. Other people won't. I, I know for me personally, I am just not your prenuptial type of girl because number one, I'm all for it being equal, meaning um, when we get together, when we get married, when we say I do, everything is ours. And so if you think that I am just the gold digger type of chick, if even if we got a divorce, doesn't matter. If you don't know me as my person and then you think just because we just because the relationship didn't work out, I'm about to take you to the ringer. Then you don't know me personally. And, and I get it. I totally get it. Everybody is not like me. I totally get it. There are some people out there that will take you through the ringer. There are some people that even get married knowing good and doggone well that they don't really love the person and they don't really want the relationship to work out. They really are waiting for the divorce to happen so they can make their own come up, live the life that they truly want, whether they have kids or not, and they move on to the next relationship while they balling out of control. I get all of that. I know people do that. But if you choose a better partner, you don't have to worry about that. And I and I totally get it. Some people will show that they will show you they ass. They will show you the ugliest side that you have ever seen of of them when it's time to divorce. But it doesn't really have to be like that all the time. I wholeheartedly believe that if both of you are able to have a civilized conversation. And basically have a civilized relationship. If you guys divorce and it's amicable, what's the big deal? Now, again, I know there's some people out there that's going to try to come for me or even on that. You know, you wasn't in my shoes and all that other stuff. I get it. Truly, I do. But go back to the beginning and think about some of the things that that person was doing in this particular case because this is about the MGTOW men. What was that woman showing you in the beginning? Was she showing you that she was for you? Was she showing you that she was right or that? Or was she showing you that she could be a straight asshole? But you decided to keep going forward in that relationship. And so even though she took you through the ringer at the end and you decided, you know, the, the whole divorce... Or even if you've never gotten to that stage because you decided to take on a, um, the MGTOW personality. I don't know if it's personality or not. Anyway, you're joining this group and you're deciding to take it on even though you haven't been through a marriage. But you've seen other people's go down and you're like, no, I'm not doing all that. Again, everything comes back to the choices that you make. We all have to stop blaming everybody else and saying woe is me and all of this other stuff and take responsibility for the choices that you made even if you decide to not make a choice even if you decide to just keep going on again you are making a decision whether you are conscious about you making a decision or not you are making a decision you are making a choice so even though you are a part of this group. And actually, uh, Atlanta Light, what I really want to know, because we vibing. What I really want to know is, are you a part of the group that is saying that you are now reclaiming your virginity or, you know, you're abstinent now? Or are you a part of the group that is still having these short-term, um, basically, one-night stands? And actually, I read some other stuff from another article that was talking about how um, not only are they doing one night stands, they're basically doing it with the prostitutes too. And I know that that's a little bit personal and, you know, 
You can send me a personal message because I really do want to know if you don't want to put it on here. But uh, Atlanta Light is not your real name. So, anywho, <laughs> I'm just saying I want to know your business because you want me to do this video. Hopefully, I did it justice to you. Um, is there something else that you want me to cover it? And everybody else out there, including Atlanta Light, is there something else that you want me to dive in deeper into this video? Really, this is just an introduction to this community. Do you guys know anybody that's in this community? Is this your very first time hearing about this community today? And again, the website is MGTO.com or actually it's MGTOW men going their own way again mgtow.com if you want to go ahead and search this group out yourself maybe you want to join it i don't know i'm not necessarily advocating for it i'm not necessarily saying that you can't be a part of it what i am doing is just giving you the information and then you can decide what you want to do i will see you guys in the next video deuces